all protocols observed, I must admit that I am more than honored to have you occur the exclusive launch of the Resurrection Effect hashtag Trek 2022. Trek was birthed in 2019, with the first edition held on Easter Monday. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic in 2022, we had to put it on hold. Thankfully, we have come back stronger and all is set for the edition happening under the team, the essence of the empty tomb. This year, our team for Trek is the essence of the empty tomb. And that is where, when you go to the Bible, a verse from 1 Corinthians 15, 3 to 5, it tells you everything about the essence of the tomb. Trek 2022 settled for 1st May 2022. Trek as 1st May 2022. The venue is Junction Mall. Junction Mall, time 5 p.m. I have to also say that um, Gifty does it, and she does it excellently. And so I can't wait to see 1st of May, where we'll experience God's favor and his anointing and his blessing upon his people. Um, the program resurrection effect is free. Yeah, it's free. It's a, it's a, it's a show that I, I don't want to do um, ticketing. And I have another one that is coming up. That one will do ticketing. That will be indoor. Yeah, so thank you. And then two, uh, you were asking about the lantern. Uh, we are talking about the essence of the tomb. When Mary Madeline got to the tomb, he was looking for Jesus. And when you are looking for something, you need a light. So that is what this lantern presents. I am looking. I am looking for Jesus. And when I went in, it was empty. Um, Bible says, all things work together for good for them that loves God. I am one person that I'm doing something for God. I go all out. It doesn't matter the cost. It doesn't matter anything that comes in. I do it and I do it all. Apparently, um, 2020, I paid everybody, including the artists I am bringing, uh, the uh, um, flights, everything, hotel, and after the launch, three days, they said we are going, um, I mean, nobody can come out, and the restrictions was too much. I was crying. I said, ah, God, why? I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing it for you because any time that I'm doing something, I tell God, it is not for me. It is for you. So show yourself. So one day I was there, I said, no, no, wait, in my own time. In my own time, I will make everything beautiful. And today tells me that, yes, this is the time. He has made it so beautiful for me. It is not easy, but, I mean, you need to cope with it. All right. We are all happy for you, and I know that is something good for you. You know, ideally, one would have thought that, oh, if it's a concert, should be in the church. Uh, some grounds be around the church or something. But you chose the Junction Mall this time. Why that choice? One, um, Resurrection Effect was built on our no indoor event. It was uh, something that I want to move from my comfort zone. Well, when it comes to the church, everybody knows us in the church. A gospel artist, a church. So if you if you if you want to take the masses, if you want the masses, if if you if you want to do your evangelism very well, go outside. And that is what I am doing. I am going outside to the way. <laughs> Maurice, my, thank you so much for this Grammy. I mean, um, as a singer-songwriter, it always the Grammy is always a moment of stress, but also of hope, of strength, of possibilities. Um, because writing music is something that you do alone. Sometimes the song comes easy, sometimes it's just like you sweat through it. And I want to thank the Recording Academy for its openness. It's the only award in the world that welcomes the world in a whole. We are still making progress. We're going to bring in more and more diversity. And I think it's an example for all the other awards that doesn't understand that the music doesn't stop on the doorsteps. There are people around the world that are contributing to our musical family in a great manner and a great deal that we have to invite on board. 
Are you seeing positive change in the ex inclusivity? Yeah, I'm seeing. I mean, it's, my first nomination was 1993, I think, and I've seen and watched this academy stumble, go back up, like life, and grow up and realize and adjust and change with the world in within we are living in. It's just in the world that really live in the same reality as the creators. When they listen, when we have things to say, we work together. And it is important that people understand that the Grammy is not just the peer that vote, but also we participate in the process of trying to get this academy the best possible, to educate people around the world about the role that music plays in terms of conflict in society. And I always say there is no society without culture, and music is at the center of it. Now, admit it, you wore your gold jewelry just because it matched so well with the Grammy. I didn't know what I was going to mean. I'm going to win. The, that's, the, that's the hard part of Grammys. You come in there, your heart is pounding, and you're sitting down there, you go, okay. I mean, that's the, that's the way it goes. If good music, people that win the Grammys are good musicians, great musicians. So. I, I'm, for us, every opportunity to raise enough uh, revenue for development is okay with, uh, with, with me. I mean, um, I am not what E-Levy will do for us in terms of uh, the, um, whether there will be something in it that can be put into the film industry like COVID, that we had a COVID, a levy for COVID. I don't know whether a very minute per percentage of it would be channeled into a, a, um, pushing the, the film industry to where it's supposed to be. I believe that if that is done, the returns will be massive for everybody, for the economy, for the government, for everybody. But I am now, I don't know much, I am now studying, uh, reading about it to get to know exactly what will happen. So right. if you get a better understanding, are we to expect anything in connection with Elevi from Farmhouse? In terms of in terms of production, production. Yeah. Well, it, that would be a corporate production. In which case, it would have to be a response to a brief from whichever agency that is there. Yeah. Elevi was passed. Uh -huh. <laughs> as an actor, as someone in the creative space, what is your view on it? You know, I wouldn't even venture trying to go into this because I am still coming to terms of grasping really details and how beneficial it, it will be for us, you know, in terms of uh, citizenry. And so um, I, I'm hoping that this, this would meet whatever, um, you know, uh, purposes, um, reasons why it was, uh, you know, reasons for, for it being passed. Um, and so I'm, I'm a bit ignorant with the details. I mean, on, on a whole, I can hear a lot of people making um, a lot of noise about this. Uh, but I, I, I should even ask you what you think. <laughs> so it means I'm sensing a bit of inadequate education on this e levy before it was passed. Yeah, I, I, and I wouldn't be too quick to, to probably maybe on my part, I haven't done it, uh, you know, I paid too much at attention to it. And, and or maybe on, on the government's part, uh, a lot of... Um, what you call it, um, sensitization hasn't been done. But I think there's more of me not doing a lot of because of um, you know, the, 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 the times. Um, but um, I think that we, we should all re really visit this thing. There's nothing written in stone. The fact that it's passed by parliament, if it's not going to work for the, the, the populace, then you know, we have to call them to relook at it. We put them there. I don't think there's something that has been, ever been done, but Parliament will pass something and then they will recall it. You think there, this can be the first time? If, 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 if we've seen what's happened in other lands where, you know, people say that, look, it, we've had enough and, and they want to get them out the day out and they get, they get them out. Or we wait for the, 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 of course, the right thing to be done is wait for the polls and then vote whoever you want to vote in or out. Uh, there is a rather enhancement. Of course, the e-levy, for all I know, will contribute to our economic growth. But <laughs> it is a little too too high. And for filmmakers, I, uh, it, not just filmmakers, but I think it's going to affect almost everybody in the country, knowing that. 
after a hundred Ghana CDs, the amounts that you need to pay anytime you do a mobile transaction. You know, we have gone digital for some time and people don't really carry our money. I think this is going to really bring back robbery and all of that because a lot of people may now want to keep money on them because they don't want to pay every other thing with momo and they will be deducted that same amount each and every time uh, one way or the other it's cool for the economic growth but uh, the people are still crying now Eddie, thank you very much thank you very much what i see is hope what i see is an industry that cannot be killed we have two much culture we have too much culture and too many rich stories and we have people like myself that are passionate about the industry that would not allow it to die and that are now better trained to make sure the industry gets to where it needs to get to i have never left the Ghanaian industry i just made a film with famous working on day day i am here but i'm here and everywhere what about whose fault it is and you know what the problems are let's be the change we want to see what's wrong with the Ghanaian movie industry you think something's wrong with it okay let's do something about it together let's get there Ghana I'm gonna reach out here let's be more positive as a country as a people as a nation because we are all connected we are all connected more positivity I think will get us where we need to be yeah.